What do you do when you turn on your favorite 3D printer and you get the black screen of death? Cry? Well, that's what I started to do, but then I quickly found a solution. Let's jump into it and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about the Monoprice Mini here, and this sort of applies to many different printers of the same nature. So if you don't have a Monoprice Mini, this still might help you. So I came out to the shop one morning, I turned this guy on to print some test parts, and this is what I got, a black screen. Now at first, my urge was to cry, but instead of doing that, I went and got my voltage meter. Because one of the things that was rather strange is the blue light on the power supply was on. So it had looked like it had power, it had looked like it wanted to start, but the screen was black and it wasn't doing anything. So upon checking the power supply, I found out that the power supply was only putting out about 4 volts instead of the 12 volts. So this typically takes a 12 volt 10 amp power supply. So it quickly became apparent the power supply was my problem. So I went off to search a new power supply and thankfully I found one. Here it is over here. So I was able to pick up another power supply for about 17 bucks. And this is why I wanted to share this with you guys. So, because at first on the surface, it appeared like it was a major problem with the internals of the printer because again, it looked like it wanted to, to run, but it simply couldn't. The power supply was lit up, giving the appearance there was power going to the unit, but clearly not enough voltage. So I'm assuming something in the switching power supply didn't work. So I have a link to this power brick, which is a direct match to the one for the Mono Price Mini. I was able to pick up off of Amazon for about 17 bucks as a plug replacement um, you know so if you're running into the same problem but even if you don't have the monoprice mini and you run into such a situation the first thing to do is get the voltmeter out check you got power going to the printer you know check the main connections check all those things first before again you start crying in your milk because I know again that's what I wanted to do when this one wouldn't start up because this is my fave so anyways hopefully you found this handy again I'll have the links uh, to this down below and don't forget swag shop up there subscribe over there and we'll catch you in the next video cheers Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.